Not one, not two, not three, but four cars, all replicas, recreations of cars from the show. Now, back in the late 70s, I was at Warner Brothers talking about licensing some NASCAR footage to them for the show, and I got a tour of the set of the Dukes of Hazard, and I got to see many of the vehicles that these are replicas of. This is Cooter's Wrecker. Uh, this Chevy with a working boom and ready to go and haul whatever you need. You've got the police car, Roscoe's police car. You got Boss Hogs, Chevy Eldorado convertible. And let me tell you, the real one, when I saw it on the set, the exterior looked pretty good, but the interior was all crapped out, dried out. It looked pretty awful. There is uh, not Sorrel Brook, but there's Boss Hog with a handful of hundreds. And the Duke boys, Dodge Charger. Out to, this place has come alive as these four vehicles have come to the block. Well, you know, you think about it, Mike, that's pretty much the classic way that cars go on the movie set. You know, they have to look good from 20 feet, but they weren't too picky about them. In fact, the reality is modern movie cars look better than the old stuff. All right, remember, all four of these cars sell together. Current bid, $20,000. They've done a good job with the decals, Hazard County decals on the sheriff's car. There's a set of Longhorns on the hood of the Eldorado convertible and a bag of popcorn uh, inside. And of course, the, the General Lee, young lady wearing her Daisy Dukes, big uh, bumper guards in the front, and photos from the, uh, from the set and from the shooting on the inside. Well, here you go. And unless I'm mistaken, I think that's actually Tom Wopat up there, the actor who was in Dukes Tom. of Hazards. Oh, my God, it is Tom Wopat. My goodness. Welcome to Bear Jackson. It's going to go all right. How are you? Uh, well, I'm, I don't know. You're in great. You're in as good a shape as these cars what are. What the hell? Somebody had to drive the thing, you know. <laughs> Bo's not here, so I can take over. Well, thanks for being here. How about that? The Charger is special in its own way. It's a 383 four-speed car, not an RT. But again, done over as a uh, tribute to the original General Lee, which was often a 68, sometimes a 69, sometimes a 1970. If you watch those reruns of Dukes of Hazzard, you'll see as those cars fly through the air any one of those three years in use, flying over the creek, the cop car, the train, whatever it might have been. It's one of 383 four-speed, this orange car. of Hazard, an iconic, iconic guy, and what an opportunity it is for the new buyer to be right there with Tom, a.k.a. Luke Duke himself. 60,000! Model builders will know that the MPC Dukes of Hazard Charger, first seen in 1981 or so, was a multi-million selling, selling model car kit for MPC. In fact, they also released Sheriff Roscoe's police car MPC did around 1989 or so. So in 125th scale, you can take these and build them for your own little shelf-type garage. Well, they introduced Tom Wopat for the crowd, and the bidding picked up again. You know, to have one of the real Duke boys on hand here. That's just pretty cool. The car screams, man. Give it up. All right. And a yeehaw to y'all. Yeah! Well, that's got to be worth an extra couple thousand anyway. Exactly. I mean, you think about it, you know, the show ran for what, about five, six years? But it's just been institutionalized in America. $60,000 for four. Four cars, all recreations from the Dukes of Hazard with Tom Wopat up on the block talking about it. Another Barrett-Jackson moment. A lot of fun stuff crossing the block, and that's absolutely going to go down.